Hey everyone, welcome back and in today's video, we are going to learn how we can create a file, how we can modify a file and how we can delete a file. In addition to that, we are going to learn how we can kill a process, how we can count the particular number of words present in a file, the number of lines and number of character in a, in a file. Okay, uh, so just as we have notepad in a notepad, okay, notepad in windows, we have VI editor over Linux. We are going to cover that thing over in this particular video. All right, let's get started. So let me do a particular zoom over there so that you can see it clearly okay hope this is visible to you all right okay so the initial step would be in order to go into uh, the root user what command will i use i'll make use of sudo su right that is super user do and switch to root user right if you are wondering what is super user what is a root user you just have to refer to the previous videos all right so if you have already watched that you can just continue with this one so sudo su sudo switch user to root and let's say that I want to list the files which are currently present on my system. I'll press LS and you can see there are three files present over there. You can ignore the ones which are written in red and you can concentrate on the file one. Okay. Now let's say I want to create a file and what the command is, the command is touch followed by the file name and the file would be new enter. Now if I want to uh, read the particular content of a file, okay, I'll make use of cat command since i haven't added the content in the file i'll make use of vi okay what is vi vi is an editor in linux so just as in desktop we have notepad we have vi editor in linux okay so vi space the file name enter so currently we are on the black console and that is known as the vi editor in order to go into insert mode we press i and whatever you type over here will be the content of the file so let's say this is the content in order to save the file we'll press escape colon wq okay now in order to read the content of the file we make use of cat command see you can see this is the content the content which we entered on the vf file is been displayed over there right okay moving forward the next thing is what if i want to check that uh, how many words are present on this particular file right I'll make use of the utility that is known as WC word count space hyphen W to count the word and followed by the line uh, followed by the file name enter it is saying me it is saying me that there are four words is it true let us verify this is the content which makes four which means it is giving me correct now how many lines are present over there I'll do something like WC hyphen L word count count line followed by the file name enter there is one line how many characters are present wc hyphen c followed by the file name 20 characters right let us clear this by pressing clear or you can press ctrl l at the same time okay right moving forward now we are i just want to uh, do something like let us do ls over here and i want to remove file one from here right i'll make use of rm space the file name okay rm stands for remove space file name enter it is giving me a prompt remove regular file do you want to delete it press y enter and now in order to cross verify whether the file is deleted or not we'll press ls and you can see the file is nowhere to be seen right okay let us clear this thing okay there is one utility that i would like to introduce to this particular video that is pipe operator that you will be using more frequently right okay so where do we make use of pipe operator so let us see a live example so in order to print anything over the console we make use of echo right so press echo followed by the message that you want to print over the screen and that would be welcome for now okay when i press enter you can see welcome has been printed over the console okay now let's see there is a scenario wherein which you just want to count the number of lines present over the output how will you do that right you just have to write the command once again followed by the pipe operator and then space word count hyphen l to count the number of lines and what will the pipe operator do it will take the output as an input for the upcoming command which means combining two commands when i press enter it will say hey you have pressed uh, you have entered welcome over the console okay and there is only one line which has been printed okay that's the actual use case of word count to see how many characters are present just replace l by c there are eight characters replace it by w there are one okay 
so you have learned how you can create a file delete a file modify a file you made use of a vi editor right you made use of wc uh, utility now the last thing that is kill command okay so let's say there are multiple applications which are running over your system so what we do over windows we just go to task manager and just uh, do end process right which is known as killing a task killing a process now in linux if you want to see how many how many how many processes are running currently you make use of ps command which state for process state and when you press enter these many other process which are currently running and the only thing that we are concerned about is the C, is the command and the process id right now let's say i want to kill this sudo sudo thing which is running at the background i'll do something like kill followed by the process id and what it uh, and what is that it is 5117 so 5117 what command i am giving to the uh, console hey linux please kill the background process of sudo okay and i am and i am giving you the process id when you press enter you can see it is giving me session terminated killing shell and it is killed terminated and we are back to the ec2 user right so that was all about today's video hope you like today's video and see you in the next one thank you and have a great day bye bye